Yo, what's up guys, your boy Risky Jonathan, and I'm back, but on a sad occasion, today, um, a lot of information has been dropped, and, um, um, two people have currently left phase, one has just left and dropped out, and as I've currently just started to make this video, another has left to join Red, and as you guys probably known in recent news, Sprat has left, uh, has left phase, uh, I know, in a video I did a while back, it'll probably be a link, it'll probably be like an annotation thing uh, around the corner. But um, as you guys know, Sprite has left phase, and Carl has, has left along with him too, as I just started this video. So yeah, I said in a previous video with Sprite being a leader of phase, especially on the college community side, it would actually, you know, bring back some some people to playing COD again, you know, bring people back to playing COD again. And it did work, I mean, for the months while, you know, Carl, not Carl, well, Sprat was, you know, making, getting videos up on FaZe, they were doing really well on the, on the FaZe channel, and they were bringing a lot of attention back into the COD community, you know? and it brought a lot more people to play COD again, and with, oh god, both of my teammates died, oh my god, but with them leaving, oh, uh, what would, you know, especially with Sprat leaving, he's, he was a huge side on this, he planned, you know, uploads for the FaZe channel, with those two gone now, uh, you know, what's left for FaZe? What's next for FaZe? Even though there are people on, on FaZe right now who still do play COD, it's just the fact that the FaZe channel it just hasn't had, you know, enough content on it lately. They haven't really been uploading. They, they've, it's not like FaZe has been inactive or anything. They've been working on their other teams such as CSGO. I know they've just recruited um, Olaf Meister. I'm not really into the, the CSGO community anymore that much well off my is really good he's goal player as I know but you know without him I mean without you know without having a COD community which is basically how what FaZe was founded on you know, COD is what made FaZe so popular you know, without having Sprat there that kind of helped guide FaZe into you know doing uploads and just providing content you know what's left with FaZe now we all know FaZe hasn't really been focusing the, their leaders I'm not I'm not talking you know, crap about them you know, they can do what they do. FaZe can expand. I'm not saying FaZe. I'm fucking stupid. And I had a perkaholic. <laughs> but with Sprite gone, you know, what's, uh, and FaZe not really, they haven't, like, the leaders have put any focus or attention into the COD community. They just kind of left it on the back burner to focus on other stuff. Which I'm, I'm saying, you know, they can do that. You know, it's FaZe. It's a huge organization. It's a game organization. It's not just Call of Duty anymore. But, you know, FaZe is now put, you know, Call of Duty on the back side of things, and it's not really what it is. It's, FaZe is not really what it has been for the past, you know, years that FaZe has been long. You know, FaZe was founded on Call of Duty, and they just kind of left that platform to just jump on the other stuff. And, you know, that's completely fine with them. I, I get what FaZe is trying to do, trying to expand out in the community. But, you know, with doing so, they just kind of forgotten, you know, what's been what they were found on their true fans and the fans and, the, and you know what's out there now with that you know most of the sniping in call of duty you know sniping community was kind of based on phase you know if phase did a video and you know the people liked it there was a lot more people you know wanted to stick to a call of duty and this has to tie in with the popular recent cause you know as as these new cards were being released you know, people, like the community didn't like them, FaZe mostly didn't like them, and it kind of brought attention to Lane. You know, I feel like, I'm not saying this is possibly would happen, but I feel like if FaZe, you know, they gave Ghost a chance, it's kind of, slope kind of started with Ghost. Let's say, uh, FaZe gave Ghost a chance, which they did, they did do videos on there. Uh, it would have probably brought more, more players on to, uh, wanting this snipe. And I'm not saying, you know, Ghost, I mean, Ghost was, it was bad COD, but it wasn't the worst. Kind of going to Infinite, I mean, Advanced Warfare. Now, uh, Jetpack's on that game. I mean, yeah, yeah, this it has its faults, but, you know, let's just say they still stuck to it. The community would still be there. There'd be a lot more people, you know, wanting to snipe, and, you know, the, the community would still, still be alive and still well. But we're also faults to that. Is let's, let's just, um... You know, FaZe not one to recruit anymore, they just stopped recruiting and they focused on like other stuff, which is, you know, I'm still saying not bad, but they could just leave the, you know, the COD community and just gone and, and not, you know, really being active on the COD side. You know, I, I hope what I'm saying is kind of fluent, <laughs> you know, I'm not like skipping over stuff, I, I hope I'm not, 
But in the end, you know, with FaZe not recruiting and not adding more players onto FaZe, you know, they're, they're not, they would, like, they stopped recruiting, and a lot of people didn't have the drive. A lot of most people, you know, who came to this community were actually really good, and, you know, they grinded the heck out of, you know, their YouTube, uploading videos, sometimes daily, or, you know, like, doing a lot more content, you know, posting the game. But, you know, with FaZe not recruiting, you know, a lot of people didn't want to really, you know, play more. You know, a lot of people go to the join FaZe, you know, the top, the top community out there, but... But Faze not really doing COD no more, you know, you know, what's the reason to really try to grind and have a goal? I mean, you can't just play COD aimlessly without having a goal in it. I mean, you can have your goal, like, you can say, hey, I just want to reach a certain level in Call of Duty. I mean, yeah, yeah, you can do that. You know, the ultimate, you know, the top goal is like, hey, I want to join, I want to join Faze. I want to do this kind of, that's how most of the lead, most of the people who are in Faze, you know, right now, and even Sprat, and especially Carl, you know, they want to be in phase. So, you know, they grinded out their content and they just kept uploading. And that's what, you know, got them where they are now. It's just, you know, the grind. What is this? What? Okay. I've never seen that happen before. But, you know, it just, it, there, was no, there was no drive anymore to really want to play COD and really want to grind it out because, you know, the is not recruiting. And, I mean, yeah, there's other clans out there like Red. I mean, that's pretty much what Red was you know, found it on to, you know, just for COD, it was a COD outside of FaZe, so they kind of disassociated themselves with FaZe, and it just became their own clan, you know, with formula and everything. But other than that, besides the point, you know, FaZe, you know, they made, they made, they made Red is kind of like a stepping stone, as I think Carl said, they made, they made Red as a stepping stone to get into FaZe, and, you know, it gave people, you know, when they made Red, it gave people to want to join Red to get into FaZe, because, it was, you know, they want, they want FaZe to be more exclusive, and I see where they're coming from, you know, it's being such a huge organization uh, for gaming and having all these subscribers, you know, you'd want to have it more exclusive and not just have a bunch of people and kind of end up how, I don't, I don't even remember what that clan was called, you know, X-Gen, X-Gen, I don't even believe that was an actual clan of some sort. You just don't want to, you want the label, you want to have this label and not just be just, you know, this clan that just a bunch of people can just get into. So you want to be more exclusive. The thing with that though, they were being too exclusive, they stopped, they stopped, you know, really recruiting. And I don't know who was the last, I don't know who really was the last recruit into me. I really don't remember, that's been so while ago. I want to say has, but I'm pretty sure there was more after that, like, probably Kitty or something like that. It probably was has. But, you know, they just stopped kind of recruiting and and they got a little bit more exclusive and they just made people just give up to really want to uh, to, you know, to just really go for phase and have, 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 have this big goal to grind on YouTube. So they kind of took the community down. As more CODs got released, you know, the, in the Jetpack era of Call of Duty, you know, a lot of the community really didn't like that. And I didn't like that. And so, uh, you know, it faces like, yeah, if, you know, with the community not liking these CODs, you know, what would be the reason to actually, you know, play them anymore because the community didn't like them and i mean people as you know we went back to older cards the community you know these cards being out for many many years you know people would lose interest or just not really want to see you know the same thing over and over again which is completely understandable and that kind of that kind of led towards the end towards the, the drop down of phase is when you know you know the call of duty games became really just trash just really terrible and people didn't want to watch it so that kind of aided in the downfall of phase, I mean, in the downfall of just them not really doing much just because the cause are coming out, and that 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 played a part in it. A lot of things played a part. It just you know phase being what it is to now and not really having a strong cod point you know there's not really games that people actually like but oh shit a panzer but now now with world war ii coming out i kind of can see i come back with phase i have no clue what they're planning what oh god ah! i have no clue oh god i gotta i gotta, I gotta get out of here oh i have no clue with what phase has for the future Maybe the future is looking bright for FaZe with, with World War II. And they're just sitting around just waiting on a COD. You can't really, you don't really know what's going to be coming up for them. So it's just, it's time to see. It's time, it's time, time will tell what, what will happen with FaZe. Um, Sprat, you know, wanted to, you know, revive the clan. And, and he did. He did it in some sort, you know, with, with towards the end of year three. You know, the clan started, I mean, the community started getting better. 
but you know it just it just happened. I, don't, I think we'll probably see more of a comeback with Phase in World War II. I hope to see that. I hope that Phase puts out some stuff. You know, I'm not really saying like a recruitment challenge, but I hope they put up some videos. And Drives actually, you know, wants to recruit people in Phase again, and, and the COD site and just bring back this community. You know, now Phase has like, well, it's just kind of like a meme now. But Phase is more thought of as this, this blogging, this blogging clan who doesn't really focus on God anymore and the leaders that the you know, are kind of to blame for that I mean yeah you know God's been going on for a while you can move on to other interests but you still just can't leave your fans behind you know the people who brought you up you can't leave them behind you can't let your you can't let uh you people down you can't do that and that's just kind of how face has gotten themselves into you know it's just not is anyone gonna help me with this guy just leaving their people behind or how would I don't know their platform there we go that's the word their platform behind Sorry. Ah, I lost it. I lost my perks. I lost my stuff. I lost my stuff. <laughs> oh, I lost it, man. They that was that was just terrible. And so this is kind of what led up to everything. You know, the cods were good. The cods were good. The community didn't like them. Phase didn't like them. They didn't really upload that much. They went back to all their cods. People got tired of those cods, and they didn't like them that much. So Faze was like, okay, um, I guess we just don't know what to do. I guess we're just going to wait on a new COD. With them waiting on a new COD, it just kind of left them out in the community. They just didn't upload budge. They didn't have that much to really put out. They didn't have COD con content to put out. They didn't want to recruit people. Faze was going to be exclusive. So that led to Faze just being on the slow decline and already becoming a fill on the COD community side. The community side of sniping was just, just in a low. They were in a very time low. Not that many clans, you know, wanted to do. Cod or they didn't really upload that content because the community didn't like him. That brought into Sprat, you know, Sprat brought the community back and FaZe had the uploads for a good six months and the community at the time felt pretty alive. There's a lot of great content coming out from um, other clans and it gave people and other clans and teams made them want to re reproduce because you know FaZe is kind of like is looked up as the big brother of his community and we're then community is just kind of based off of them. You know, we view the community as what phase you know puts out so that's pretty much has led into what the community is right now and with sprat being in there it kind of it, it brought community back again but him gone you know it depends on what's left for phase now what on their community side what's their what are they gonna do what are they gonna do now and we just we just don't know and we're just waiting for world war ii and we will find out when world war ii happens what what is for phase will they uh, when they continue to upload um, more this Call of Duty stuff, or, or play Call of Duty, where they just leave it behind. Which is the reason why Carl, why Carl left literally like a couple of hours ago. He didn't feel a part of FaZe because, you know, the FaZe house all in California. He's from Florida, he's living in Florida. Well, I don't think he's actually from Florida, I think he's somewhere in Green Bay. Yeah, he's in Florida, he's living in Florida. He's like thousands, hundreds of miles away uh, from phase clan and those leaders didn't play cod and he just kind of felt a disconnect from them and you know with sprat leaving it gave him the perfect chance i'm basically rehashing what he's saying um in this video but he they, they felt a disconnect and that's kind of how i felt their leaders didn't really care about cod that much I, I, anymore they thought it was that they just left it behind and they left their members behind and they didn't really feel like you know phase really wanted to do much college anymore so they went off and doing their own things Especially with the grind squad, you know, with them, I'm not really saying they're not, they don't, they're not associated with FaZe or anything, but you know, FaZe didn't really do much, so they did their own thing, they made the grind squad, which is not really an actual clan, which is just a group of friends who plays COD and everything, so that leaves that behind. And that's just pretty much it. The community might be on decline, we'll see, we'll wait until World War II, and we'll see what FaZe has to offer. Will they focus on COD? With now, since you know two, or at least one, I would say two. You know, Carl played. Plus, Carl's are a really main part of phase. But losing two of their main players, their main COD players, will the will phase start losing uh, more people or attention to the COD, or will that will this be a wake up call for them, or phase to really want to try to get back and focus on COD when World War Two comes and want to actually recruit players or people who are putting out great content and recruiting the phase knows and we'll find out it's just the community right now in this sort of time between world war ii we finally have an actual boot on ground cod it's just it's just kind of an iffy state and 
and I really hope this community comes better and comes closer together and we're just a bigger family than when we are together we just talk to about one another and we'll have more great content out there but that's kind of been my rant I felt like I've been all over the place with this with this uh, commentary which is it's kind of been with what's been going on in the background but I really hope the college community comes back alive and strong when War 2 comes but it's even risky on and yeah I just kind of really keep back into the feel of this but you know this has been a really huge part of you know what I do so it's been Resident Jonathan uh, leave a like and subscribe for more content especially during World War 2 and zombies and actual multiplayer sniping I'll see you guys later peace